For centuries, humankind has tried to find out more about the bottom of the ocean. Sometimes this meant throwing a long weighted rope over the side of a ship and seeing how deep it went. Technology has advanced since then. We've used underwater cameras, submarines, and even satellites to explore our waters further. But the bottom of the sea is still a relative mystery. In fact, we know more about the surface of Mars than we do about the sea floor. Just over 20% of the ocean floor is mapped today. Getting a fuller picture could unlock scientific gains and help industries use the sea more sustainably. Projects like the Nippon Foundation, Gebco Seabed 2030 are accelerating efforts to complete the ocean map within this decade, inviting vessels of all shapes and sizes to roam the deep, including a new breed of ocean technology. This seven foot long electric submarine uses rotating fins and thrusters to swim through currents, while sonars, cameras, and lasers help it to navigate and catalog the sea floor. That's according to Anthony DeMare. He co-founded US-based startup Bedrock Ocean Exploration in 2020 to develop the robotic vehicle and give marine industries a better understanding of their environment. It seems strange even today that we don't actually have a full ocean map, let alone understand the complex geology of any given area. These things affect the way that we can build critical infrastructure. That includes constructing telecom cables as well as forecasting climate change. But gathering this information requires a lot of resources. Right now, most of ocean mapping happens through ships that require 30 to 60 people to operate. And then there's a whole data analysis problem on top of that. Understanding exhibits of geospatial data about the ocean and then being able to pick out the important things within it. And that process just takes six to 12 months. The vehicle collects data on an area of a seabed and brings it back to be analyzed on Bedrock's cloud platform. All in all, Bedrock says it can deliver a survey up to 10 times faster than traditional methods. The submarine is also safe for the marine environment, according to Damare. It moves at a little over two miles an hour. This is the equivalent of like a human swimming through the water at very low speeds. And the sonars on board are all above a 200 kilohertz limit. So we don't have any auditory effect on marine mammals. As well as contributing to the global seafloor map, Bedrock is hoping to sell more detailed surveys to the offshore wind industry, Damari says, so companies can build wind farms on the seabed without harming marine ecosystems. It is a lucrative market as the demand for renewable energy increases. But Bedrock's battery-powered vehicle can venture less than 60 miles before it needs to return to shore and recharge, Damari says, which means it can't reach more remote parts of the sea. Limited battery life is a problem facing autonomous mapping vehicles around the world. One California-based oceanographer, Yi Chow, is trying to solve. While working at NASA, Chow developed technology to power data gathering robots by the very depths they are exploring. That's a Chow founded startup Sea Trek in 2016 to commercialize the technology. We can harvest energy from the sea, from the natural occurring temperature difference. So the robot will swim in the ocean, they get charged by the sea, so they can extend a lifetime almost indefinitely. SeaTrek has raised $2 million in seed funding and Bedrock, $8 million. But that is still a drop in the ocean of the funding needed to complete the map. The estimate is somewhere between three and five billion US dollars, which is a huge amount. But actually, it's pretty much the same order of magnitude as the cost of sending a mission to Mars. So while there's still a ways to go, for the likes of Chow and Damare, it's about time we started investing in our own planet. If you want to keep Earth as a place that humans can live, we have got to get a lot smarter about what's going on in the ocean.